Applewood Cabins is about a 12-year-old company. We specialize in residential, um, high-end kitchens, home bars, theaters uh, for your home, um, those sorts of things. We get into some, uh, some commercial and a little bit of uh, the closet end as well. And the job that's on the machine right now, well, tell me something about that job. Um, this product, uh, it's mahogany based, uh, mahogany skinned MDF. Um, this will be going into a private residence. Um, it's about an $80,000 job of a private library. Um, it's a pretty cool project. Um, these parts here will be parts of um, kind of a mix parts here of cabinet parts. Uh, also with some Wayne Scott panels that will be raised. It's very high end detail as far as the design goes. Um, actually part in this library we have a wall of bookshelves um, and you push a remote and a whole section of bookshelves actually travel up into the ceiling and then the TV comes out of the cabinet below. So it's kind of a unique section. So before you bought this machine, you looked at a number of different machines. Um, help me understand the selection process that you went through. Well, it was very interesting. We probably spent a little more time on it than we thought uh, we really should have, but you know, we're just kind of getting a good understanding and a better feeling of ourselves what we need to make the decision as far as a proper business decision. Um, but we did look at a lot of different machines, a lot of different name brands, and the prices varied huge from very low numbers to very, very large numbers, and we're talking a couple hundred thousand dollar difference. At the end of the day, we needed to know what the results were. Was there a couple hundred thousand dollars worth of results coming out of the machine? The answer was no, for our opinion, and what we needed our machine to do for us. Um, this machine here, we ended up, um, you know, we currently are running a CNC in our shop as entry level. <coughs> um, this one is going to give us some pretty close to three times the output that we're getting out of the machine that we have now on top of having accurate products. Um, but this machine, we ran all the numbers and we kind of beat it up a lot, but um, by far the best bang for the buck on our decision. Um, tell me, how's the training going? Um, well, the training was pretty painless. Um, we started yesterday. Um, approximately four o'clock. We spent about 45 minutes to an hour, um, had some files uh, air cut, and then we went for beers. Came back in this morning, threw some files in, and uh, we were cutting. And uh, actually, we had another gentleman, um, an employee in the company who will be running the machine, first time into it. Now is um, we're halfway into the second day, and is doing all the files by himself seamlessly. So, so at this point, after about uh, the. It's a day and a half training class. After the day and a half, do you feel comfortable that you could give him a program and he'd be able to execute it on the machine? Already doing it. Compare your impression of, of this machine, without mentioning the name, of the one that you're running. Uh, <laughs> it was a big, big difference. Very large, I and mean, it's almost even hard to compare at this point. Um, the biggest things that I look at are uh, reliability for one, um, the, the model that we are running. You know, it's like I said, it is entry level and its price point explains it as well. Um, but its accuracy is pretty far off as where we need our tolerances. Like I said, we do run high end production and we're down to 30 seconds to 60 force. And if we're not holding those tolerances, it doesn't go out our door. So. Um, we got real good at cutting parts that never left and uh, that decision needed to be made. Um, but when you come here and see this machine run and just feeling it's how rigid it is, how sound solid, like I said, we're using the exact same router bit, the exact same files we have been running, the exact same material, but all of a sudden now we can cut about three times as fast and we're getting accuracy that we were looking for. Great. Our experience with X Factory, the, the salespeople and all the other uh, service people, and just even the administration people, were very, very fun, and it kind of made you feel like you'd been friends with them for years. So very easy to talk to. Uh, straight shooters, going to put the cards on the table. We started off that way. Well, we start off that way anyway. Put all the cards on the table. Everybody knows where you fall. Would you recommend them as a company to do business with? Absolutely, sure. Well, our new machine is a Camwood. We have a five. Um, five foot by ten foot uh, machine with an automatic tool changer. Um, this machine that we're running here today in your shop um, has the quick change. Um, it is just push a button, spindle drops out so there's no wrenches as far as changing the cutter which is fantastic. But in the machine that we ordered, um, that we own, 
Uh, the machine in its file will go down, drop off a cutter by itself, pick up a new one, and continue to cut without any, any operator intermittence at all. Um, so that is a great feature that we're really looking forward to. Well, we're anxious to see this job when it's all finished. Uh, send us a little video of, of what it looks like when it's all done. We'll absolutely send you photos, and I'm sure we'll be on our website as well. Great. Aaron, thanks. Thank you, Tom.